Uh, I loved this song, Judgment Day, and I really wanted to hear the, the live version of it because they are, in my opinion, one of the best live bands out there. I haven't actually seen them live, but I've seen a bunch of their live performances on YouTube, and I think that they're, like, as good as it gets. So let's check out them playing Judgment Day live. Taken at the knocking at Heaven's Gate. Here we go. Whoa, look at the stage setup, though. It's just so much more impressive. Like, I know how good it was already, but it's so much more impressive seeing them actually play it live. You know what I mean? Like, they, it just takes it up a notch. That was a cool-ass intro. I don't remember the intro being like that. I mean, it definitely had, like, a, a build-up in it, right? But it was interesting to see them actually do that. I figured that would be a backing track to the live version of it. This stage is the coolest stage that I've seen them on so far from any of the videos that I've personally seen. Like, these fi the fire and, like, the gothic scenery here, right up my alley. Damn, look at the lighting, too. Dude, I love this set so much. I love this set so much. Uh, it's just a fucking nail in those random harmonics, too. God, it sounds so cool, man. Dude, they are just this. I've, I, I, I feel like every show, every live uh, performance I've seen from them has been basically just like a plain stage. I don't think I've ever seen them like get gimmicked up on the stage. I, this is, I don't know. It's adding to it for me, man. Like it's just adding to the appeal so much. Ah, that lead! Yo, Midori! Killing it over there! Sick. Man, their mix is so good, too. This might be their best mixed sound. Like, her leads underneath that... It's really hard to make those come across well. Like, leads under that much uh, other instrumentation that's going on, plus the vocals. I could hear every part of that, but it wasn't overshadowing, either. Damn, Midori is doing so much. I didn't realize how much she was doing this whole time. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, bro. Like, I, I remember watching this for the first time and being like, Damn, those are some high-ass notes she's hitting in the chorus. And she's doing it the whole time. Like, just high notes the whole chorus. I was wondering what that would sound like live. And it sounds exactly like it's supposed to. It sounds fucking amazing. Dude, she's, like, perfect, though, isn't she? Like, vocally speaking, I don't think I've ever heard her flub before. Nasty. 
Yo, they need to bring, I know we're in the middle of a solo, but I'm sorry. Like, they need to bring these sconces on stage for everything that they do. The fire in the background and the red lighting is adding so much to their stage performance. Because they have to do so much, you know what I mean? Like, these instrumentalists have to play some of the hardest shit I've ever heard. So, like, they're constantly just, like, they have to. So adding, you gotta look. Sometimes you gotta look. I mean, unless you're Miyako and you just don't even look at your hands while you're playing the most ridiculous things you've ever played before. But you can see, Midori is constantly playing like a lead throughout the course of this song. She's gotta pay attention to what her hands are doing or else it's gonna sound like shit. So having these like sconces with fire and the lighting and all this stuff, this crazy stage show, man. And Asami also just like doing a great job of being the, the main center of attention here. Uh, it just adds to it so much. I know people don't like her vocals. I mean, listen, I am not a, I'm not a power metal fan. Like Paul, uh, I'm reading Paul's comment right now. I'm not I'm not a power metal fan myself. There is a band or an artist in every genre, every genre that I think is just so good that they stand out ahead of their genre, and I don't care what genre it is, they're so nasty that I'll listen to that style of music. And that's what Love Bites is for me when it comes to power metal. I'm not listening to power metal. I really don't. There's very little of it. Like, I'll hear a song here and there that I get into. But, like, st generally speaking, I'm not going to listen to a whole power metal album. I can listen to every Love Bites song. Because I think that they are just the best at what they do. And I, I, th that's why I don't mind her vocals. Like, generally speaking, I wouldn't be into vocals like that. But for this, it's perfect. Look at that outfit, Jesus. She's ridiculous. I just, dude, I'm sorry, but I, I don't care who the fuck you are. There is no way you could watch that and not think these are some of the best guitarists I've ever heard. Like, holy shit, man. I mean, what did they do? The call and response three, three separate times, and they did like a mini call and response uh, for like two sliding notes there at the end before they came together and kind of like played that off together uh, as a duo at the end. I mean, this is what I'm talking about, dude. Like, I, I, it's, it could be any style of music. When you have that that level of talent to be able to do stuff like that, it's just, it, it goes over, it goes over the style. Like, it, it means more than any genre possibly could. They are... So, Midori is awesome. Don't get me wrong. I, I'll sit here and I'll praise Midori all day as one of the better guitarists that uh, I see in the J-Rock world, right? She is in the top of my list. She is like a top five, maybe. Miyako is quite possibly, I probably said this before, I'll probably say it again, Miyako is quite possibly the most talented instrumentalist in the J-Rock world. Generally speaking. When I see her play a solo, it's often slower than Midori's solo. There's a lot of times where I feel like the things that she's doing might not even be as difficult as what Midori is playing. But the way that she actually designs her stuff, it is so off the beaten path. The random notes that she hits, the random chords that she'll hit in the middle of solos, and the slowdowns, and her perfection on nailing those slides and those bends, that's the type of stuff where you just look at it and you go, man, this woman is so incredibly smart. 
Like, she's just so intelligent when it comes to writing music. I could watch her just play any solo, and I know that it's going to sound different than the last solo that she played. Because she won't write two solos that sound the same. <clears throat> I love them both as a combo. They're perfect together. Midori would be the lead top guitarist in every band that she's in. Possibly, except for Love Bites. Just because she is in there, right next to another guitarist that I think is maybe the best instrumentalist in all of, in all of Japan. So, uh... Just unbelievable. Just, just, just unbelievable. That was an unbelievable solo. It was unbelievably played. They are both so fucking good. I just, it's just, it's just so, it's just so fucking so crazy, man. You can never. It's just so pretty too. What the hell? Uh, anyway. But this is what I'm talking about with Midori, man. She's doing this shit. Midori's playing the lead for this song. That's, that's like, she is the lead guitarist in this song. Miyako is the rhythm guitarist. Even though she played part of a solo. Midori's got the lead work. And she is, she's got a lot of shit she's got to do in this song, man. The whole time. I have so much respect for her. Go bassist, go bassist! Damn, dude, I just, I just, I love their transitions too, man. They're so good at riffing. Ugh. <laughs> Harun is the Energizer Bunny of drummers. Yeah, she's been going hard the whole time. Woo! Ugh. Nasty. Woo! <laughs> Okay. Oh, cool ass ending too. And look at that stage. I oh. Nasty. Just just straight up nasty, dude. Everything about that was nasty. I, I actually feel bad because, like, you know, uh, Mustang Grand Poop over here saying Haruna is the Energizer Bunny of drummers. He's absolutely right. Like, she is fucking awesome, too. And I never even have the chance to really talk about her. Because I'm so focused on everything else that's happening. And the camera obviously shows her less. But she is nasty the whole time, too. Especially in the outro of that. Like, the last ten seconds of that... Dude, you want to see what I really loved about what she did right there? This is like, this is such a little simple thing, but I absolutely got, I am so into it. Alright, she, so she's playing this really consistent drum riff here, right? Drum beat. Okay, so she switches up here. Bum 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 like the guitar is doing. But then on one of them, she's gonna do a little roll instead. And it just totally threw me off, but it's so intriguing to me. Dude, that, that ending is so fucking cool, man. Just that little tiny drum roll that she does in the middle of the bum 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 bum. 
And then she goes back into the beat and then finishes with a du- with a drum roll that's twice as long as that one. The combination of that, like, it's such a small, minuscule detail, but it shows you how much effort and energy she's actually putting into that performance right there. Huge fan. Huge fan. That That is one of their coolest songs, man. One of their coolest songs. 